Imagine standing at the base of a mountain so colossal, so awe-inspiring, that its peak disappears into the clouds. This is Olympus Mons, the largest volcano not just on Mars but in our entire solar system. Its sheer scale and grandeur have captivated astronomers and planetary scientists for decades. Olympus Mons is a testament to the extremes that exist in our celestial neighborhood. Its existence challenges our understanding of volcanic activity and hints at the possibility of a once active Mars. As we delve into the depths of this Martian behemoth, we embark on a journey of discovery. This volcanic giant provides a unique window into the geological history of Mars. By studying Olympus Mons, we are not just exploring a mountain, but piecing together the intricate puzzle of Mars itself. Our journey takes us millions of miles away to the dusty red plains of Mars, where Olympus Mons reigns supreme. Olympus Mons is a true giant, measuring roughly 374 miles in diameter. To put that into perspective, that's roughly the size of the entire state of Arizona. Towering over 16 miles above the surrounding plains, this volcanic behemoth is three times taller than Mount Everest. Imagine the effort it would take to scale this monstrous mountain, its slopes stretching endlessly towards the thin Martian atmosphere. Olympus Mons is what's known as a shield volcano, characterized by its gently sloping sides formed by countless lava flows over millions of years. At the summit of this colossal mountain lies a breathtaking feature, a caldera, a vast, sunken depression spanning an incredible 53 miles in width. This caldera hints at the immense power that once raged within Olympus Mons. Olympus Mons is classified as a shield volcano, a type of volcano known for its broad, gently sloping sides, resembling a warrior's shield. Unlike stratovolcanoes known for their steep, conical shapes, shield volcanoes are built almost entirely of fluid lava flows. These lava flows, composed primarily of basalt, have a low viscosity, meaning they flow easily over long distances. Over millions of years, these layers build up, creating the characteristic shield-like profile of Olympus Mons. The gentle slopes of Olympus Mons are a testament to the sheer volume of lava that has erupted from this volcanic giant over its lifetime. Each flow, though thin, contributed to the volcano's immense size, gradually building up its massive bulk. The ground beneath your feet would be a testament to the power of this ancient volcano. The formation of Olympus Mons is intricately linked to the geological processes that have shaped the Martian surface over billions of years. Unlike Earth, where tectonic plates constantly shift and interact, Mars lacks this dynamic plate tectonics. Without moving plates, volcanic hotspots, areas of upwelling magma from the planet's mantle, remained fixed in place. This allowed magma to erupt from the same location for extended periods, accumulating layer upon layer of lava flows. Over millions of years, these continuous eruptions poured out vast quantities of lava, building up the shield-like profile of Olympus Mons. The low viscosity of the lava allowed it to flow easily over long distances, contributing to the volcano's immense size. The absence of plate tectonics on Mars also explains the sheer size of Olympus Mons compared to volcanoes on Earth. The surface of Olympus Mons is a time capsule, preserving billions of years of Martian geological history. Its vast lava flows, frozen in time, hold clues about the planet's volcanic past. Scientists study the morphology or physical characteristics of these lava flows to understand the history of eruptions on Olympus Mons. By analyzing the distribution, age, and composition of these flows, scientists can piece together a timeline of volcanic activity on Olympus Mons. This information helps us understand how the volcano grew and the role it played in shaping the surrounding Martian landscape. At the summit of Olympus Mons lies a feature that is as captivating as it is enigmatic, the caldera. This vast sunken depression stretching over 53 miles in width is a testament to the immense power that once raged within this volcanic giant. The caldera's formation is a story of catastrophic eruptions and the collapse of the volcanic summit. The caldera of Olympus Mons is not a single uniform structure but rather a complex series of overlapping collapse features. These collapses would have been dramatic events, reshaping the summit of Olympus Mons. The caldera floor is relatively flat, covered in a mixture of volcanic ash, lava flows and impact craters. Exploring the caldera of Olympus Mons is a tantalizing prospect for future missions. 
While Olympus Mons shares the title of volcano with its earthly counterparts, the processes that drive volcanism on Mars differ significantly from those on our planet. Earth's volcanoes are primarily fueled by the interaction of tectonic plates, while Mars, with its static lithosphere, relies on a different mechanism, mantle plumes. Mantle plumes are columns of hot, buoyant rock that rise from deep within a planet's mantle. On Mars, the lack of plate tectonics allows these plumes to remain stationary for extended periods, leading to the formation of giant shield volcanoes like Olympus Mons. The composition of Martian lava also differs from that of earthly volcanoes. While both planets have basaltic lava, Martian basalt tends to be richer in iron and magnesium, giving it a distinctive reddish hue. The lower atmospheric pressure on Mars results in less explosive eruptions and more effusive eruptions, contributing to the formation of shield volcanoes with their characteristic gentle slopes. The presence of a giant shield volcano like Olympus Mons on Mars raises intriguing questions about the planet's past, particularly the potential for water. Volcanic activity, especially on a massive scale, can release significant amounts of water vapor and other volatiles from a planet's interior. While Mars today is a cold, dry desert, evidence suggests that liquid water once flowed on its surface. The question of how Mars transitioned from a potentially warmer, wetter planet to its current state is a topic of ongoing research. The immense scale of eruptions on Olympus Mons suggests that significant amounts of volatiles, including water vapor, could have been released into the Martian atmosphere. These hydrothermal systems, driven by the interaction of hot water with rocks, could have provided energy sources and environments suitable for the emergence of life in Mars's distant past. Olympus Mons, with its towering height, vast plains, and enigmatic caldera, beckons future exploration. Its unique geological features offer a treasure trove of information about the Red Planet's past. Future missions to Olympus Mons could involve a combination of orbiters, landers, and rovers, each equipped with advanced instruments to study the volcano in unprecedented detail. Orbiters could map the volcano's surface in detail, identifying different lava flows and searching for signs of past hydrothermal activity. Landers could conduct in situ analysis of the rocks and soil, searching for signs of past water or hydrothermal activity. Rovers could traverse the vast plains of Olympus Mons, exploring different geological features and collecting samples. While Olympus Mons itself may not be the most likely place to find evidence of extant life on Mars, its study could provide crucial insights into the planet's past habitability. The search for life on Mars focuses on understanding the conditions that may have once existed on the planet. Volcanic activity, particularly on the scale exhibited by Olympus Mons, plays a complex role in planetary habitability. The long-lived volcanic activity of Olympus Mons suggests that it could have played a significant role in shaping the Martian climate over billions of years. Understanding the timing and magnitude of eruptions, as well as the types and quantities of gases released, is crucial for modeling the evolution of the Martian atmosphere. Hydrothermal systems, driven by the interaction of hot water with rocks, can create environments rich in chemicals and energy sources that can support microbial life. Olympus Mons stands as a testament to the power of Martian volcanism, a silent giant holding clues to the Red Planet's fiery past. By studying this colossal volcano, we gain a deeper understanding not only of Mars's geological history, but also of the processes that shape volcanic activity across our solar system. Each discovery about Olympus Mons adds a new piece to the puzzle of planetary evolution. The sheer scale of Olympus Mons challenges our understanding of volcanic processes. Its formation through sustained eruptions over billions of years highlights the unique geological conditions on Mars. This understanding helps us interpret the volcanic histories of other terrestrial bodies, such as Venus and Mercury. Volcanic activity plays a crucial role in shaping planetary environments, influencing atmospheric composition, the availability of water, and the potential for hydrothermal systems. As we continue to study this Martian behemoth, we unlock secrets not just about Mars, but about the very nature of planets and the processes that shape their evolution.